a raw prospect coming out of college, about 6'4", 6'5", 250, runs a 4'5", so fast, especially for their size, an athletic freak. Who am I describing? Adolfo Way. Yeah, exactly. And Adolfo Way, he made his mark on the NFL last year. Now, there were some times when it did get a little bumpy for him, but he certainly, especially early on, he had a, a, a good season. But now they just sort of drafted an Adolfo Way 2.0 in my eyes in David Ajabo. Uh, with the 45th overall pick, the Baltimore Ravens select Michigan defensive end slash linebacker, depending on what type of defense you run, David Ajabo. So they were like, Adolfo, we, like, we love what you do. We, we love your potential. So you know what? Let's put somebody opposite you who has some great potential as well. Um, now, this move is a very interesting pick because the talent is there, straight up. The talent is there. This is somebody that would have been a first-round pick, but then, of course, that unfortunate Achilles injury that took him right out of the first round. Mm. Always talk about how timing is everything. That was some of the worst timing possible because he was set. He's getting ready to go in the first round, uh, would have been had his name called in the first 32 picks. Got his, his, the guy who played opposite of him, Hutchinson, his name was called, what, number two to the Lions. But David Ajabo, when he suffered that Achilles injury at, um, what was it, his pro day, I believe? That's when it all, not even necessarily fell apart because he got drafted in the second round. But it just, that's when things went south for him just a little bit. Um, but see, that, the injury, oh, man, this, I, I feel for him. I feel really bad for him because with the injury, it not only took him out of the first round, so he lost out on some significant money. Still getting some significant, some significant money now, but it, he did lose some significant money. But at the same time, more so than losing the money, more so than losing the draft status, he's losing a chunk of this upcoming season. And Ian, Ian Rappaport, he did make a report. He talked about how with David Ajabo, um, with the Ravens selecting him, if everything goes well with his recovery, then he could be a full go uh, in October. Didn't say beginning of October. Didn't say late October. Just said October. And I just wonder, because we know he can play. We know he can ball. We know he's like that. Nice selection. But the thing that will concern me the most is the availability. And I feel like Ravens are in such a, a, a hard place right now. They're in such a tough spot because you, you get somebody, first round talent, the talent is there, obviously. But you just don't know when you're going to be able to see that talent. And see what makes it so tricky is that with, with this investment that you've put into David Ajabo, um, you got to be extremely careful with him. You got to be extremely careful with the process. You got to be extremely careful with everything because you obviously want him on the field so he can impact the game so he can make plays for you. But you don't want to mess up his long-term future uh, with this short-term process. What I mean when I say that is that you, you want him to be fully healed, fully healthy. And of course, they, they brought in different guys, especially um, Adrian Dixon from the Titans, um, as, a, as he's a recovery specialist to help all the players that the Ravens got really recover properly from their injuries. Because we, of course, know Ronnie Stanley with Pat Ricard, with Nick Boyle. You get it. A lot of guys just have not been recovering properly. And they've been out there on the field. They call Derek Wolf, another one. They come back, but then they they not really ready. So hopefully his impact will be a huge positive uh, in terms of the Ravens getting not only getting guys back, but getting them right. So with David Ajabo, you want him to get right. But I, I wonder, like, I wonder because I don't know all the details of how the rehab is going to go in the whole process, because, you know, he's going to be in a film room. You know, he's going to be studying film. He's going to be in all the meetings and whatnot. But if he's ready to go by October, um, will he have had any type of physical practices before then? How is it going to be leading up to October if he's ready by then? And we know, like, now it's 2022. Medicine is crazy. Surgery is crazy. Recovery time is crazy nowadays. Um, but I'm just, I'm wondering when he's going to be able to get on the field. We know when he gets on the field, oh, it's going to be a problem. A problem in a good way. 
Um, but I'm just wondering when he's going to be able to get on the field. And Ravens, I feel like Ravens, they they can't be done addressing edge uh, with David Ajabo. Reason being because you don't know when he's going to be available for you. So they still got some free agents that are out there that, that they could address edge with. And, of course, you can still double dip in the draft. Um, but right now at edge, you got David Ajabo coming off an Achilles injury. An edge outside linebacker, you got Tyus Bowser coming off an Achilles injury. Pernell McPhee, free agent. Jalen Ferguson, a lot of unknowns still there. Um, Odafe away. He had, uh, I think, shoulder surgery, but he, he, he'll be good to go. Um, Derek Wolf coming back from injury. Um, so you got a lot of question marks there. A lot of question marks there. Um, Dalen Hayes, outside linebacker, he's coming off an injury. But he should be good to go by regular season. Uh, but I'm just wondering, like, I, I, I know Ra Ravens are not going to be done here. They're not going to be done here because he's somebody that I think this was really a draft pick for the future. And I mean, you could say that about any draft pick, but this one right here was really for the future since you don't know when you're going to be able to see him on the field yet. But I'm good. It's, it's, it's a uh, great player. Great player. Like I said, first round talent to the, to the talent was no question about the talent at all. Um, but when are we going to be able to see that talent? That's my biggest question. So I hope that he continues the process and the, the surgery. I mean, not the surgery. He already hadn't had that, but I hope his, his rehab process continues to go well. And like I said, it goes better, even better than expected. Uh, cause again, when he's on the field, it's going to be nice. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be nice, especially when we get some interior pressure too. Woo! Um, but we just don't know when that time is gonna be. So we'll see how it goes. Team, keep it clean. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all, and we out.